With fallen leaves comes fallen snow, and with more snow and salt on the ground, it'll be much harder to drive in and out of Humber College. While some are anticipating a winter wonderland, others brace for a commute from hell. Dave Griffin, manager of maintenance, says driving on Humber property is always looked after by his staff. Our parking lots and our roadways were fully contracted to an outside service who has uh, large size rubber tire machines, uh, 30 ton salters and road size plows to move the snow. And our own staff will look after all of the sidewalks and salting all of the sidewalks and clearing emergency exits, that kind of stuff. So it's done as a joint effort. Griffin says 30 tons of salt is used every snowfall. The contractor is not required to come on campus until we have about an inch of snow on the ground. Uh, my staff will usually be here if there's a snow event anticipated by 5.30 in the morning, run the bobcats. We have designated routes for the bobcats to go out as well as the staff in trucks and shovels and that kind of stuff. Students on campus are happy to hear the situation's under control because they have a hard enough time getting here as it is. Well, it's going to be way colder than it was last year, so I mean, the roads are going to be a lot worse. I have to commute from Burlington to Toronto, so driving on the highway going fast in bad weather is, well, it's pretty dangerous. I mean, regardless if you have new brakes and new tires, it's still, it's still bad. In the campus, it was pretty clean, so once you get into the school, you don't have to, I didn't worry about braking too hard. No matter how many inches of snow we may get, Griffin says he and his crew are ready for anything. So I wouldn't count on too many snow days off this year. For thedailyplanet.com, I'm Natalia Buya.